Hello, welcome to HPO's Crypto Corner for Wednesday, January 6, 2021. We have several things to talk about, so let's get started. First time to shoot for this year. The Bigfoot creatures, occasionally albinos. There's an illustrated one. Article by Nick Redfern. Now, as a lot of you know, the one that I saw in 1998 was an albino. Or a white colored creature, a light colored creature. It's been almost 23 years since I saw it. Nick says he only has one report of a white foot in his files. And there's in 2010, there was this footage that came out. Supposedly of a white Bigfoot in in the woods at Carbondale, Pennsylvania. Which has been called a hoax, but who knows for sure. Here's an illustration of a white or a Yeti. Blair Witch into the footage. If white Bigfoot do exist, then they are clearly in the minority. This strongly suggests we are dealing with albinos rather than a specific offshoot of Bigfoot that is always white in color. It begs an important question that requires answering. What is albinism? Inherited conditions. Perhaps the idea of a white Bigfoot is not as unlikely as it seems at first glance. And it really, it's not. I mean, it would be almost expected to have an albino of one species. When monsters use sound to keep us away. Now this examine the Bigfoot phenomenon as far as infrasound and actually emits an ear splitting whistle that can make things feel like a needle push into the ear. Dogman apparently can use sound. deep humming in his direction. When he hit the rancher, he felt suddenly very ill, a combination of nausea, dizziness, and the sense of something gripping on his arms. Terrified, he struggled to drive away, which he managed to do, and that, as a result, caused the feelings to vanish almost immediately. He was sure he told me that he had seen a werewolf. Now, this is Tom Powell. From 2013, Ohio Bigfoot Conference speaker Tom Powell talked about this phenomenon during his presentation last Saturday evening at Salt Fork, Virginia, where he was zapped by something unseen. His knees turned to jelly, knelt down, and when he lay, and then he lay down on the ground, falling asleep. He awoke two hours later, still lying in the woods, unaware of what had happened. He believes this was an infrasound attack by a sad So, this is just the basic about how sometimes creatures can use sound from them. You may remember all the Nessie reports that I came up with not too long ago. Well, it's happened again. 15th. The 
this is a photo, I guess, that they took, that the mother and daughter took, a mom and her daughter. Ms. Fisher is the 13th official signing of Nessie for 2020. And here are the mother and daughter. No long neck, no head, just the hump bit. Interesting. Very interesting story, I have to say. Finally, Lauren Coleman comes forward with the top 10 cryptozoology stories of 2020. One of them being the Nagui Room. A Loch Ness Monster Hoax. I did, I did report on this. I, I kind of figured it was some sort of a fish. It looks like a, a big fish. It is a big fish. And this cutout of a Sasquatch. A shot taken at Sherman Pass. By WSDOT, Washington State Department of Transportation. Webcam photos. Attempted murder of a Bigfooter. who may have been Todd Sanding. New species of coelacanth. So it looks almost like it's smiling, doesn't it? Look at it. Look at that. It looks like it's almost smiling. Very interesting species of fish. New species of monkey discovered in early November 2020. The Popa Langer. New species of tree hyrax. New species of beaked whale. So there have been some discoveries in 2020. Toy figurines of Yetis and Bigfoot. I just got the Yeti not too long ago, last week as a matter of fact, the, the Yeti from Safari LTD.
monumental cryptozoology passings of 2020. And aw, monkey. be put down. Aww. Cryptozoologist of the Year 2020, Dr. Marie Jean Kaufman. Lifetime Achievement Award, Chris Murphy. Cool. National Cryptozoology Museum received Chris Murphy's collection. So it's now at the museum, the International Cryptozoology Museum. Sasquatch revealed. Which is pretty cool. So those were the top, top 10 cryptozoology stories of 2020. And that's going to do it for this week. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. You guys are the heart of the show. I will continue to do this as long as you want me to. This is going into my sixth year of doing these videos for you guys. And I enjoy every minute of it. And until next week, y'all be good or be good at it. This has been HPM's Crypto Corner.